guys, so welcome to episode three. We're on our way to Tumut now to meet up with a mate of mine um, who's going to show me around the tracks of Tumut. Um, it's Saturday morning, it's a beautiful day for a drive, and uh, yeah, we're going to send it now, get to his place a bit after lunchtime, and uh, have an awesome day wheeling tomorrow, hopefully. So we'll be good. There's a good canola crop there, yeah. but it's just flat. And then get on this side, and there's a few trees over yonder. That's about it. And other than the 80 running in the background, it's just there's nothing out here for a sad day, mid morning. It's um, it's like someone upstairs forgot to put trees out here. I don't know what happened, but it's just nothing. It's like almost going across the nullarbor. Whew. All right, I'm gonna get back in the truck. Keep on going. So we just come through Wagga. Um, absolutely hectic on a Saturday. Whew, I haven't seen it that busy in ages. So I'll just pull over on the side of the road here. It's always good doing a bit of a long trip to always pull over, walk around the vehicle, make sure everything's all good. I stopped in at Wagga, grab some fuel. So, But um, yeah, so we'll keep heading now. The sign's just in front of me saying 91 kilometers until Tumut. So super keen to get there. Um, just on another subject, if you're coming through Wagga for any reason, stop in and check out the RAF Museum, which is just behind me. I heard it's great. I haven't personally looked in there yet, but if you're in that sort of stuff, I reckon that'd be the joint to go and check it out. So, we'll keep on trucking here. Alright, legend. So, we're just coming out of Adelong now. I'll tell you what, this is awesome place. The scenic views. Towns look cool. Adelong's a great little town. Head. We're about, oh, I don't know how long we're out of Tumut. Not that long. Probably half an hour or so, I reckon, out of Tumut. And I'll tell you what, this is awesome. There you go, 20 kilometres of Tumut. Oh, I could live up here. This is awesome. Can't wait to hit the tracks. 
So we finally made it the Tumut. And this town is awesome. Super old school. And uh, yeah, looks cool. So this is all for today. But tomorrow we're going to start getting into the four drive and it'll be a bloody cracking day hopefully. So woo, see you then. Righto legends, so it's day two. About to hit the tracks. We've just fueled up and uh, waiting for a couple of blokes to turn up. We've got my mate Chase in his 80 series. It's a weapon, 35s, 2 inch lift. You know, all the good stuff. Um, so super keen for today. Apparently the tracks range from easy to hard around the Batlow Tumut area. Super keen. Woo. The first thing we did before hitting the tracks was to let down our tyres. On the 80 I went down to 20 psi which I found was perfect for the conditions and my vehicle. Alright guys, so we're just going to check out the hill. Bit of a gnarly one. Not too bad though. Air and down. Um, it's a bit of nervous actually. The first time I sort of had the 80 majorly off road so we'll see how it goes. Super keen. The views around the Batlow area was simply stunning. I mean check this out. This is how good it is. This is why I own a four wheel drive. Oh, good bit of fun this. Coming through a bit of a foresty area here, up in the Batlow area, and we've come across a couple of trees across the track. No, not big ones, just sort of little plantation ones that have fallen down through rain or whatever the winds they've had up here. One little tip I can give you, when that happens, you've come along a track, and there's like a little bit of a tree across the track or whatever it may be, is to approach it slowly, obviously, and then do try and do one wheel at a time. So then the vehicle's up with one wheel, then the next one comes over, and then the back should follow suit. Pretty simple, and um, then the vehicle's not working as hard, and it should be just a nice, simple step over the tree. All right, hooly dooly. This is just the start of this little track up here, the little hill they're talking about. Goes through a little creek crossing here. This is pretty actually cool. Muddy challenge here, we'll see how we go. It's going to be a bit of fun there. Pass this tree and we get it. Alright, that's what the big 80's got. Low range. of the this little hill climb here looks pretty interesting actually from down here walking this morning I was picking lines in my head and that's what you sort of usually want to sort of do but oh in a car it's from a different perspective I tell you On camera this does not look that steep it's not too bad but i have seen steep steeper this is definitely going to be an interesting one now, this little hill climb was quite an interesting one it wasn't yeah. wet but it's it had quite deep ruts and a few it's tree low. roots thrown in there so picking your line was definitely key my line was to keep my tires on the oh, high sides of the ruts so i didn't fall in causing me the diff out thankfully my line worked and i got to the top with no problem It's not wet, it's just it's clay. I'm gonna strap them. They're quite decent ruts. That's a bit of a gnarly angle. The car's turning into a tree. Ooh, that's a, not a nice sound at all. Doing it, we're almost at the top. 
out of them rocks all go. Yeah, boy. Nice throttle control with the auto helps. Up we come. Yeah, boy. And we're at the top. You. After everyone made it up the hill climb challenge, some of the blokes decided to jump on their dirt bikes and go and explore some more tracks on two wheels. Me and Chase, however, decided to head back to Tumut and check out some more tracks around that area. So currently, we're just, we've come back from Batlow, we're now back in Tumut area and just having a bit of a look and play around the tracks at the back of Tumut here and there's some pretty cool ones, like they're not too challenging, there's obviously challenging ones around. But um, they're just uphill and they're nice and this one, oh, get up there, old girl. Tree there, watch out for him. A little bit of a rock step on that one. It's just up. Awesome. In situations out here, we've seen a few of them now too. Watch out for dirt bike riders because they, they're out here enjoying the bush as much as we are. So just watch out for them because we've come across a few in our travels around here now. Whoa, this is awesome. One thing I've noticed for driving in the Tumut Batlow area is that there's no rubbish laying around these tracks. And it's that's a credit to the guys who wheel around here. It really is. Um, I've, I've been to a few places where you go for forward driving and there is just bags upon bags of rubbish laying on the side of the tracks. So if you wheel around the Tumut Batlow area, I'll take my hat off to you. Big thumbs up, guys, because that's how tracks get locked up with rubbish on it. So thanks, guys. Gnarly little downhill descent here. Little rock steps down the other way would have been gnarlier. Now it levels out. Some mad four drive tracks around here, and it ranges from if you've got a mild four drive, which the 80s is very mild at the moment, you know, it's only two inch lift and 33s, or you can bring your GU with 37s or whatever you're driving. There's tracks for everybody out here, it's actually really cool. and scenic views pretty good stuff i'll definitely be back you see him chase just disappearing off the face of the earth there at the moment it's basically what this track's like so what i'm doing is just waiting up here chase is almost at the bottom now but you don't want two four drives going down a hill like this of this descent anyway right behind each other because if one loses his brakes or you know something goes wrong you're right behind him and it's game over then oh this is gnarly this is right down this is um this is actually off the face of the earth type stuff. On camera it won't look that bad, but I'm hard up against the seatbelt at the moment. This is awesome. We can see a sky. A few little bumpy sections there. Channel the right hand side of that bottom corner. Alrighty. down the bottom. That's awesome. What a track. Pulled out. And now it's gotten going down again. The golf course is just there. How gnarly is it? Battery there. What's that? Battery. Oh. Yo, old A's doing well. Blackberries. Oh, I hate blackberries. Up a little bit on camera, this will look like nothing, but that is quite a hill. Whew. Okay. 
the golf course is off to my right hand side and that's amazing right, so I'm still going down it goes up again this is awesome I have to lose your golf ball out here though it's a long walk Not bad, that hill is gnarly. Oh my god. It's a bit of a gnarly hill. Cheryl's going for it. It's the name of his car, by the way. Whew. This is good stuff. Alright, let's give it a crack. Here a second, let Chase get down the bottom of the hill. Look at that, Skibby's at the other side. How cool is that? This place has it all. Oh, here we go. Oh, thought I lifted a wheel then. Three, it's not. That's gnarly. That's good. How good is that? Oh, more trees. Folks, we're about to go back, grab a cold beer, and uh, think about how good a day that was. Ooh, these tracks around the Truman area, Batlow, if you haven't got up here, bring your four drive up here, get a week off work, because that's how long you need, there's tracks everywhere, pack lots of beer, and come and explore these tracks, because there is plenty of them. So thanks for tuning in to this episode, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe out on the tracks. You.